It's like, hi. And he's flirting with you. Yeah, he was who's flirting this, with me. Who's this like, person? Name drop. Name drop, name drop, name drop, name drop. <laughs> he's the, he's the, the risky guy. <laughs> Bob Risky? Yeah. Bob Risky moved to you. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the Esther Show. It's your girl, Esther, as usual, the Nigerian queen. And guys, what is a Nigerian queen without a Nigerian guest? <laughs> Today, I've got a treat for you. I want to let him introduce himself. This is your key. <laughs> Do you want me to introduce myself? Yeah. Okay. I thought you were going to call me a Nigerian prince. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me do an intro for you. <laughs> Guys, introducing the Nigerian prince. Hell no. <laughs> So, do your own so what's going on, guys? My name is Bello Kreb, your favorite bearded host. But I'm, this is not my show. Um, I'm live here with Esther. Esther, I like your hairstyle. <laughs> that sounds nice. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, it sounds really nice. Thank How are you, you doing? So he's, well, he's very well mannered. That's what you should do. Compliment yeah. the host always. Yeah, you look good. You yeah. look amazing. <laughs> 10 over 10. Thank you. Do you know, I'm actually so happy to have you here because you're my first, like, proper Nigerian guest. Okay, so I need to give you the Nigerian thing. Yeah. So I need to speak like a proper Nigerian man. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, listen. So, is your name Bello or Kreb? What should we call you? So, um, my dad's name is Bello. So, so my real name is Kabir. Kabil. Uh, yeah, Kabil. But um, people start calling me Kreb. I got the name Kreb. I actually gave myself Kreb. Okay. Yeah, that was way back uh, when I was in school. Right. But um, right before then, people called me Bello. Like, the school I attended back in Nigeria, yeah. So they called you they are, Yeah, they call you by your son name. So what do I call you today? Yeah, you can call me Bello. You can Bella. call me Kreb. Or you can call me the Nigerian prince, <laughs> according to you. <laughs> we'll call you the Nigerian prince. <laughs> right. No, I'll call you Bello. Yeah, that's Right, fine. Bello. So, obviously, I don't think a lot of people know that you now live in the UK. When did you move here? Okay, this is more of like an home office question. <laughs> <laughs> you are here legally, right? Yeah. They know you're yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I've been in and out. I uh, started... Uh, coming to the UK 2021. Okay. So I came in 2021. Uh, I, I went to Manchester. Uh, you know, I checked around, you know, made a couple of friends and it was nice. So I had to go back to Nigeria and have a rethink that, okay. I'm going to live in the do UK. I, do I really want to stay in the UK or Nigeria, you know? I mean, so crazy things happen in Nigeria and uh, I just give a lecture like, okay, I need to come stay in the UK. Oh, okay. So, yeah. how long have you been living properly in the UK? Yeah, 2021, 2022. I would say roughly now, this 2024, so roughly three years. Like, properly? Yeah, three In the years. UK? Yes. You, you've lived here since 2021? Yeah, but, I mean, back, back and, and forth. forth, yeah. But, like, okay, when last have you not been to Nigeria? You've just been in the UK? That was 22. Oh, so you've been here for two years. How come I didn't know that? Yeah, I decided to, you know... I was moving like a ghost. Is it? <laughs> Loki? Yeah. So how are you finding it, living in the UK? Oh, man, that's a long talk. That's a real long conversation. I mean, I mean, you know, for someone that is, like, pretty new to the um, environment, it's going to be a little bit difficult, I'll be honest. But trust me, I mean, I've been finding my way, and for now, I'll say it's good, and it's not really good. <laughs> It's good. It's a, this is not really yeah, good. It's, it's a, the it's, not good is what I want to know about. Have you have you seen the va- bad vibes of the UK yet? Yeah, the energy here is just. I mean, everyone is busy. Yeah, everyone is working. Yeah. So if you're if you're living in England, you need to just walk. You go walk, walk tire. You make, go walk tire. <laughs> you need to just walk, make money, spend it, and walk again. So you just need to keep working. Literally, I say. I think England, uh, UK is like a factory. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a great analogy. Yeah. Like, I feel like that really is what it is. Like, you have, like, when you, you have the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Just shut. Like, it goes, so you blink and it's gone. Yeah. That's literally all they want us to do, just I think, work. I think they should extend the weekend to 
Um, before I say this, I, I would like to say I don't like Mondays. Monday, I'm sorry, I don't like you. Like <laughs> <laughs> you got beef with Monday, like, yeah? You, can you imagine waking up every Monday like the I Mondays? Know, uh, I know. After the again. beef, I'm even with that beef. Yeah, I can't lie. So, in terms of just like living in the UK, would you say that you've gotten support while living in the UK? Yeah, uh, it's just me by myself. Uh, I've got support from God. So it's just me, no family here. It's just, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's just me. Just you by yourself? Yeah. Friends? I uh, don't really make friends, you know. Like, I just got, I've got a couple of friends, uh, but I don't really make friends. So I do my research myself. I go out myself. I do basically everything myself. Oh, you're a bit of a loner. Certified loner. I'll be your friend. <laughs> 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 well okay so in terms of like obviously your comedy um have you worked with any uk comedians um yes uh yeah 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 i don't know if you know monkwe oh yeah months um, yeah, so yeah i was in a yeah. um one of his he did like a series one time so monkwe the investor yeah so I've got I've got my own show, like a food show, kitchen show, where Monkwe was part of it. And but uh, before then, yeah. we actually linked up and you know we did a couple of videos together with my colleague. Okay. Um, I'm sure you know Josh. Josh, Josh too funny, funny, of course. Yeah, so, Who yeah, doesn't so, know Josh? <laughs> so it was me, Josh, and Monkwe. I think that was the first time, and I worked alongside. Um, do you know Michael Pepper? Michael Pepper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done something with Michael Pepper. So what well. do you find, like, the UK collaborating scene? Do you think that UK people are, look like, open to collabs? Because personally, I don't think so. Just yeah. because, obviously, I'm a creative as well. I'm always trying to, like, collaborate and work with people. And I just feel like the UK has this vibes of I could do it by myself. By myself yeah. And it just, we all don't collaborate. Like, I went to Nigeria for, like, two weeks and in that two weeks, I got like two collaborations. Do you know what I mean? Just in that two weeks. But I don't think that that's the same in the UK. Yeah, trust me. That's the difference between uh, Nigerian content creators and uh, the UK content, uh, content creators. Uh, so the, the UK content creators are pretty much difficult to get, for real. Mm -hmm. Like I've actually reached out to some of them and they actually replied, but... Yo, so when when can we film? Then boom. You know, I don't know if I should met or I missed out to her. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> Who are you trying to work with us that did not reply to you? Yeah. Go on. Okay, so I was just I was trying Drop to night. be I was trying to be on our show, and I wanted us to do like something together. Uh, Who is Joyce, that? Madam Joyce. Oh, Madam Joyce, she didn't respond. Yeah, she didn't respond. So, okay. um, but luckily for me, uh, Michael Pepper reached out to me. Okay. So, yeah and you know we had something we we created content together and i was on his show pepper talks and okay. monkwe did the same thing i mean those two guys are just they're cool man oh. they're, they're, they're 100 percent. but um, i hope you're gonna say that about me as well now be like what well, esther she's your own cool. your own rating she's is good. going to come later <laughs> <laughs> but trust me it's i gonna, hope it's good it's gonna be good trust me is it good so far <laughs> I know I'm late, but like... So, uh, Monkwe was, like, the energy was good. Uh, same thing with Michael Pepper, it was good. But lately, I've not reached out to anyone. Y yeah, it's got yeah. tired. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing Did my own thing Joyce myself. break your heart and you're just like, you know what, fuck these people. <laughs> I feel... I, I, I don't really want to say too much about Madam Joyce because I don't that know She's her. lovely. She's good yeah, people. So I, I love her show. Like, I think it's so lit. Yeah, that's one thing about me. I don't conclude till yeah. I meet you personally, physically. So that's when I can tell you the kind of person you are, your energy. Mm. So when they talk, like, permit me to say, when they talk shit about you, yeah. I just keep... Uh, I like to meet you and know the kind of person you are. So I wouldn't say because she never replied me or anything like that. So I mean, if I if I have the opportunity to work with her, I mean, uh, that's something good. That's, that's what I would so like to positive. do. That's so positive. Has yeah. anyone ever talked shit about you? Me? Yeah. 
Because uh, I tried to find like any negative news on you. There was no negative press. Everything was just yiki yaka yaka. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there must be someone that don't like him. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people that don't like you. You don't like you, that you know. <laughs> I don't know them. <laughs> <laughs> don't care. Bad vibes. So, Stay far I mean, away. I, I, I mean, if you come to, I get, I get terrible messages from my Instagram. Like, if you don't like me, I'm my energy when it comes to if you don't like me. I'm a very terrible person. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like, so that, yeah, man. Like that. If you don't like me, fuck you. <laughs> Does it not get to you, though? It's me, I get dragged on a regular basis and it really stresses me out. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I get so upset because I, 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 in my head, I'm an amazing person. But obviously, I've got a bad mouth and I don't, I don't realise that I've got a bad <laughs> mouth. And obviously, I'm just saying my opinion and thinking that I'm just saying my opinion. But I'm upsetting people. And I'm like, oh, shit, I wasn't trying to upset you. And then I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to hurt you. Do you know what I mean? I mean, there's a video of you I saw. <laughs> so I'm not going to that. I'm going to that. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> that is the next topic. I mean, that's... But, but when you're talking about uh, bad energy towards me, I mean, um, I feel I'm a cool person. I don't like fighting. I don't like violence. I don't, yeah. don't want to be dragged. But if you drag me, uh, the only thing I'm going to respond is silence. Oh, Silence is like the best yeah, silence is the best answer <laughs> for it. Yeah. You can drag him tire, you're gonna be dragging dragging yourself. <laughs> and you know, the thing is the more you respond, the more you're trying to explain yourself, the more you're trying to clear the air, the yeah. more uh the dragging continues. Yeah, you so you're giving fire. them you're giving yeah, no you're giving them more <laughs> no evidence. chances to drag you. So just keep quiet. Yeah. When they shout, yappy, 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 they'll get tired and they'll yeah. be like, These guys, don't worry, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> No, but um, obviously the video that you saw of me, this is how we connected, isn't it? Yeah, because <laughs> I'll say this on this show and it's going to be today. <laughs> God. So when I saw the video, yeah. Well, let, was... me, let me give some clarity first. Let me first give a bit of context. So my last episode with Mike's Comedy, we were discussing Nigerian creatives and UK creatives. And I made a statement saying that, UK creatives are better than Nigerian creatives. However, I did not mean it in every aspect. And I even did an apology video to Nigerians. And I'll say it again, Nigerians, I'm sorry. I beg no mess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to hurt you. I meant it in a contextual way, like in certain areas where like we have a high standard to call ourselves a creative. However, there are other contexts where Nigerians are way better. But obviously, we could go into that. I, mean, I want to know your opinion because yeah, 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 yeah. Before before I talk about yours, yeah, I mean, trust me, Nigerian content creators are way better in every way. You think they're better? Yeah, we, no, we are better. Oh, yeah. I'm part of them. <laughs> trust me, because I mean, we we are we are hard working. We create. So when I was in, when wait, I was... sorry. By the way, when he saw my video, he was one of the people dragging me. He said, "Yeah, yeah, this I'm, one, I'm, the chase clout. <laughs> that was his yeah, comment. I'm com- yeah, I'm coming to that." <laughs> So, I mean, Nigerian content creators are, I mean, they're amazing. You know, do you know what it takes Why are to... they amazing? Come on. Yeah. Do Defend you know what... the Nigerians no, creators. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not defending. I'm actually speaking facts. You know, facts. do you know what it takes to just wake up? Just one day, you can decide to shoot or film more than five videos. Do you understand? You know, the brain, the energy, the effort you put in to create that. And filming in Nigeria is stress. Mm. trust me you can just go out to shoot with your crew and whoever you're shooting with and some random guys will just come ah bros you're going to give us money sweat out yeah. that's kind of bad though so you always you could you have to bribe people to even do your videos yeah like just random people the the uh the area boys area like boys. yeah they just they just want you to sort them sweat the out. money you're paying them is not for they're not doing anything for you. Just the moment they set a camera, oh, I know this guy is famous. Ah, bro, you go drop money for you. So immediately you'd like, those are stress. Like, yeah. so Nigerian creative, like Nigerian content creators are, I mean, 100, five star. Do you know, I want to give Nigerian craves the flowers as well, because obviously I was in Nigeria for two weeks and I had an episode that I... I needed to upload on YouTube and I swear the internet, I could not download it. I tried like 
different types of internet. I even went to like one of my friends, he was an artist and his internet is very fast. It did not download. I lost my mind. So I have to give you guys kudos that the resources aren't the best and you guys are releasing videos upon videos upon video. So do you know what? Because what I said made it look like I don't appreciate Nigerian creatives. I see the work you guys are doing and I'm giving you your flowers for that. Yeah. So let's just clarify that. I big up Nigerian creators. Yeah. yeah? I- I'll say this here. Yeah. I've never said this before in my life. Go there on. was a time I was filming, yeah? Yeah. I was filming with my colleague and I got stabbed. Yeah. I'm sure you can <gasps> see on my face, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, like, Why? Yeah, like, we were filming and like, these guys came and they were like, Oh, you guys need to. So I was so mad. I was like, no, you guys can't do this. You can't just keep coming over and over again, asking for money. And, you know, I got so pissed. And one of them was like dragging me, you know, it was like, you know, we ended up exchanging. <laughs> so the guy eat me and the other guy. So just... you got it like that, yeah? Yeah. You scrambled so yeah. I mean, I need to, I need to defend my career, you know. Oh wow! The next, like, oh my face, blah. Oh, Mad. So it was, it was, it was. It was did you win though? Like did that. you win? Like, <laughs> <laughs> or did you get stumped? You're like, oh shit, let me run. <laughs> yo, yo, af- after that, after that, it was, it was like people started coming, like, yo, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Like, oh, I got blood over my face, oh, and well, uh, that was painful, but you know? <laughs> I feel like you're you're feeling the pain again. <laughs> Now, now imagine doing all of this and you're posting a video on Instagram and someone is coming to your page and telling you, yo, this shit, this shit is not funny or oh, this trash. You're going to feel bad. But I never said that. No, no, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about, I'm talking about people that make negative comments oh, about, okay. you understand? I'm not even talking about you. Oh, okay. Like I say, I'm still coming to you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, say whatever you got to say. So say to your, my face. In your case, yeah, it wasn't an attack. When I saw the video, yeah, I was just, I was just a little bit pissed and I'm like, no, you can't say that about Nigerian content creators. For me, no. <laughs> <laughs> because I was just literally, I don't have anything in my mind. I was just a little bit pissed. Like, come on, why would you say that? So that's why I had to <laughs> make that you, you remember that scar that somebody gave you? You're like, hey, this girl, don't piss me off. Do you understand? It wasn't even the scar, I mean, but I was just like, nah, you, you can, I don't, I don't want you to end up being dragged by Nigerians. Yeah. But they did that anyway. It's like suitcase. They, they carry me, they fold me, they bend me. No, don't worry. <laughs> no, that one is not dragging. If they you, drag me, Taya. If you, if you, like the amount of people, there was Alibaba, there was that live with Linda. It was beer people dragging me. Beer. Yeah, that's... So about, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Nigerians. So Nigerians, uh, <laughs> on behalf of me, Aww. the Nigerian prince, I apologize. <laughs> I hope they'll let me in now. Because that's what it is. I've, I, I'm jealous of Nigerian careers. Because the statement I was making was more in regards... Like, I don't know if you've noticed. Obviously, you mentioned the support, the collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have a support network in the UK. So it's like, you could be doing... I started on skits. I'm telling you, nobody gives a shit about your skits in the UK, bro. Like, yeah. you have to... You have to have lots of followers for people to even look at your stuff. Yeah. Um, get verified. The bar is WT. so... Yeah, get verified. Bro, like, look at the UK. Like, even look at our um, shows. We, you guys only know Top Boy. Do you know how long it took for Top Boy to even make it on Netflix? I know, right? I know. Like, the, the rigorous process we have to do for things. I have a friend that wrote a show. Um, it's called Treatment amazing show i'm telling you wow. she spent a five grand just to do like the treatment for the show and just to do a pilot wow. that show has not been made till this day it's been like what three years wow. because the standard is so high for us to even create and this is what i was saying about nigerians like you can just have a phone and just say you know what i want to do a skit and people if they think you're funny enough they'll support it but in the yeah. UK, they don't go support time. That's my yeah, that's, yeah. that's and, what and, I'm trying to and say. And secondly, for Nigerian content creators, I mean, there's there's a community. You mm. understand? So like, we know each other. Yeah. So when we reach out, no, not all. I mean, they, we still get some <laughs> stupid ones that when you reach out to them, they don't. They refuse to like do collabs with you. You understand? Yeah. So I feel the UK 
content creators like they need to have like a like a community where I don't know like but it's not just communities like even your blog pages like even me they your blog pages even though they dragged me your blog page the blog pages supported me do you know what i mean yeah. and uk blog pages not gonna support you <laughs> you have to be completely crazy but the thing is blog pages in nigeria they will push your content they will push you wider to the audience yeah i mean we don't sh- have that shout out to shout out to uh tune the not uh, i said that yeah he i mean when i was like when I was growing, starting my career, it supported me. Is that? Uh, the video as well. Is yeah, that? Yeah. So 2018, I I was making comments on today's page. Okay. I started with, um, can I say something? That was just a comment I made. Yeah. So uh, the comment was getting a lot of engagement and I got a lot of followers from there. Then okay. I think December 24, Tunde reached out to me. He was like, yo, this shit is global. One sent me 1.5 million, like, yeah, yeah. See, you don't have that shit in the UK. <laughs> you used to send to your mom, they, they send your papa. <laughs> when everybody's looking yeah. for money. He gave me, he gave me 1.5 million. That's mad. Yeah. And the video sent someone, reached out to me as well, and he invited me over to his place. You know, I went for his birthday party. Wow. He would give me a follow back and, you know. After then, I've been doing a couple of things with my colleague, uh, Josh Tiffany. I mean, most of the stories are related to Josh Tiffany because we do a lot of stuff together. Together, yeah. yeah. I'm going to talk together. about that as well, to be honest. So, yeah. obviously, you have mentioned doing a lot of content with Josh Tiffany. Yeah. And, obviously, you guys are a duo. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's much. your relationship like with him? Are you best friends? Okay, so this is the story, yeah. Um, I was born a Muslim. Okay. But I start going to church with my mom. Then back then, my mom took me to this particular church, Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministry. Oh, that's the <laughs> church I used to go in Nigeria. Yeah, so that's where I met Josh. By the way, guys, I am actually I was born in Nigeria. I'm a born and bred Nigerian girl. Okay. I'm, so I'm guys, in... please, I'm not a IJGB. <laughs> I'm not Ajepako. I just go back. I'm not... Do you know what I mean? I'm not Aje Butter. I'm an Aje Kwako babes. Now, real Niger, Bekuta babes, okay? So, y'all okay. stop violating me because I have an accent, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> They were coming for my accent, for real. Like So, um, I started going to church. Um, I joined the drama group uh, in the Mountain of Fire. That's where I met Josh. I was like, hey, who's this skinny-ass guy? Yo, what's up, bro? He was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm good. I'm a producer. I said, okay. So, it wasn't drama then it wasn't it wasn't like the drama group so josh had like a dance group so now i'll tell you yeah, i used to be a dancer you used to be a dancer a rapper actually <laughs> <laughs> what you're trying yeah and we did both me and josh we did uh photography together i studied photography for one year mm. then basically i did mostly career courses uh, like we did photography then we went to an acting school together oh wow yeah, so, so met, it's always been about content from, from day one from day one have yeah. you did you do a degree in anything or no basically it was just career course like studying all of these and that's it oh okay but did yeah. you go to university and do no any uni course? oh okay no uni. So, it's... so i met josh you know i was going to his studio with recording rubbish, <laughs> I wouldn't. Okay. I, I don't think I should tell you my my formal name because it's not so. Something. Consequences, boys, is actually In your God real. Dr- that's your real dream. You wanted to be a rapper, <laughs> and you didn't. You couldn't make it that far, so you were like, you know what? Let me bring it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So consequences is just like the failed rapper. <laughs> I love it. So we did music together, and uh, we started with dancing. Son of David, and we did all of that. I broke my... I don't know if I should tell this. I broke my shoulder. Okay. I had a dislocation on my right shoulder, yeah. Wow. So when the dancing was giving us a lot of stress, we decided, okay, bro, let's do music. So we started doing music. We started doing music back then. Josh was a good producer. Mm. We had a studio. Um, I'm sure you know Oxlade. Yeah. So Oxlade is... Is our own boy too. You know, Oxley is always in the studio. Okay. And a couple of uh, uh, some other artists. Then we're doing music. Mm. Yeah, that's where Josh got the Brother Zacchaeus resurrection power. Okay. Thing from. Yeah. So 
I realized me, I'm a very bad singer. I can't sing to save myself. <laughs> and it was like, okay, so let's switch it up. And 2015, Instagram came to Nigeria, yeah. Okay. So when Instagram came, so we're like, yeah, skits. we're like the first set of people that, you know, got lucky to like have a page on Instagram. So then Instagram just had 5,000 followers. Okay. Add add one thousand, so we're posting uh, videos on our Instagram. No likes. So uh, if Josh posts his video, I like it. Uh, <laughs> if I post mine, so we decided. Okay, how long have you known each other? For about like twelve years now. Oh, you're just like brothers. Yeah, more more brothers, brothers in so, content. That's so yeah, cute. we're brothers, blood uh, brothers. Did he buy you a car? I seen someone that you bought you a car. Is that true? Yeah, a little bit. Hey, <laughs> Do you guys you want me to audition to be part of your friend group? No, no, no. You actually, you actually, you actually bought me a car. Did it? Yeah, yeah. You bought me a car. Yeah. So that was that's that was so one. nice. Yeah, that's you know that's what brothers like do, oh. do for each other. I mean, I've been there, been supporting everything. So man was like, yo, enough of jump, uh, jumping bikes because if you're familiar with Nigeria, you, you jump bikes Kata, a lot. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, take this. So you got me a car and then that was after I won the 1.5 million from today. So 2018 was one of my best year. You know, I got a car from Josh. I got, wow. I got a follow back from Davido. Oh. You know, people started reaching out to me for content, mm. collaborations. And so that was it. Oh, that's so nice. Like, I love the characters, Mama Felicia and Pamela. <laughs> consequences boys <laughs> how do you like continue to come up with like these concepts these ideas yo if you're if you're born Nigerian, and you're a content creator and you've suffered <laughs> trust me <laughs> you're, so your inspiration comes from suffering <laughs> no no not, not suffering actually <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't say suffering but i mean the inspiration is what we see the situations that happen around like things we see on the street, on the internet, that's where we I mean, Josh can give a proper definition of how Mama Felicia and Pamela came up. Okay. Uh but I mean the content, the kind of videos we make, we got the whole idea from things we things that have happened to us and things we've experienced personally. Uh so, so it's like Mama Felicia and Pamela, is that like one of your aunties or something? Yeah, Josh Josh actually have he has a, a auntie, but not Mama Felicia, but the same uh, character. Character, behavior. yeah, because he really embodies that character. Yeah, we've, like, <laughs> yeah, and we then have, you are like, so he's like the the character. Mama Felicia is very much like she just talks shit a lot, don't she? Yeah, this, and then probably like acts dumb. <laughs> she she would be like just following everything. Yeah, this. But Chris, she's actually the smart one, isn't she? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but Kristen, um, Mama Felicia. Acts like she's small, but she's slow in it. Yeah, <laughs> then Pamela is just Pamela is, is a stupid character. Yeah, that just she's so, stupid, but she's smarter than Mama Felicia. Yeah, sometimes so, yeah, <laughs> depends some, on yeah, situation. She, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I mean, when I saw that she was smart, was the, you did a watermelon? Um, oh God! Skit, don't take and me back. it was like that's the fruit of the womb. Oh, <laughs> man, and you were that. like, eh? Hey, let me go and put it in my bean. And yeah. was, I don't know. Let me put it in my because <laughs> obviously she was smart in that aspect because she knew he was talking nonsense. And all of those videos, I mean, we create in a day. We can do like six. We can make six videos. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And this again is what I was saying in the UK. You don't even have people down to be ready to shoot six videos. For you to do six videos. <laughs> that's why that's why it's United Kingdom and that's why it's Nigeria. So there's there's a little bit different. Different. Like, yeah. So yeah. And when you're talking about the Pamela Mama Felicia thing, there's a there's a whole lot of story behind that character because it's a feminine character. Yeah. So I got some ridiculous approach from I don't know if I should mention them. The alphabet people. <laughs> yeah. What are they wanting you today? Yeah, they're like some some guys reach out to me. They're like, yeah, I like in the dress. Yo, you look sexy. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> not you getting advances. Yeah, so that's I'm like, crazy. no, not me. No, I'm not. That's, that's a that's, character, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a character. Crazy. Yeah, like, so there's this guy. There's a cross dresser. Very popular in Nigeria. You no. Know, I went went for music video. Yeah. And 
he was there. Yeah. So he was staring at me. Yeah. Then I don't want to be rude. I was like, yo, what's good, bro? I was like, hi. And he was flirting with you. Yeah, he was who's flirting this, with me. Who's this like, person? Name drop. Name drop, name drop, name drop, name drop. <laughs> is the, is the, the risky guy. <laughs> Bob Risky? Yeah. Bob Risky moved to you. Yeah, that was, that was like, that was like. <laughs> That's a t- <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is T. Yeah, that's long time. Like, so I I made a video. I made a video. What year was this? That was 20, I think that was 2017, 2018. I can't remember vividly, yeah. <laughs> so I made a video, yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell sorry. you. Like, was he on a real thing? Like, trying to move to you? Like, or was it like Wait, a skit, comedy? I'm not, no. I'm not trying shit. Like for real, for real. Like so, we went to we went for a music video. Yeah, <laughs> go on. We went for a music video. He was there. He was still half male, half. You understand? Massy got beards. Oh, okay, you know? it's not when he had the wig and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, looking era. scary. Like so, it was it was part of the video. It was a music video. So I saw him and I did a video. I just did a selfie video, like when no makeup. Yeah. So the video went viral. Okay. But before then, he was like, "Hi." He was. It was just all this. But I can't. I can't contain. I can't deal with it. But I'll just say like, "Man, he, he moved to me." But <laughs> I wasn't having it. I just took it like a joke. Like, <laughs> bro, you must be joking, I man. God, that is hilarious. Yeah. So the video went viral without the makeup and so obviously there's been like a lot of speculations regarding Bob Risky being gay or straight so he's gay I well would he be know. gay because he was into Pamela right I, I don't understand I don't know <laughs> if I don't know if he was just joking or he was serious about this then because I think he blocked me Block? After, yeah. Why did he block you? So the reason why he blocked me was uh the video I made, the selfie video I did then went viral, blogs and so it was like he reached out to me, it was like, yo, started cursing me that why sh- why would I post a video of him without makeup? Ah Do you understand? So he blocked you because of the makeup, not Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he blocked me then ever since then that was it. Till they- that's kind of mad, though. That's crazy. Well, anyways, let's go back to the ju- you and Just Too Funny. Obviously, you are a duo. Yeah. And, like, with duos, so people like JT and Young Miami, um, they always get compared, to, like, get compared to each other by the audience. Do you ever feel like people compare you? So, like, when they speak about Bello Crab, they'll always be like, oh, so how is Just Too Funny? Or... Uh, look at what Justin Funny is doing. What what are you doing? Do you ever yeah, yeah, get yeah, that yeah, comparison? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get I get that law. I get that law, and sometimes it can be depressing, you know, because there was a time. Um, there's this show in Dubai, One African Fest. Okay. Uh, so uh, Josh got called up to like go for the show, and some of my colleagues came to me and were like, "Yo, you're wasting your time. Stop following this guy. You see, you can't even go to Dubai, and Josh is there." Is bigger than you, you know. Ah, oh, you mean, said that. That's so me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So I got I got a lot of negative comment about me being a duo with Josh. So mm. it was very very discouraging. But I mean, I just have to do what I enjoy doing with Josh, and I didn't really go with the negative comment. But I got a lot of negative comment when it comes to working with Josh. Uh, don't do this with him. That guy's. Sometimes uh, there was a point. Some some people thought we were gay. I was like, really? No, we're not. <laughs> we're not gay. Man, brother, straight. Or yeah. Or so yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I got a lot of discouragement. Like, don't do this with this guy. You can do this on your own. Don't. You're wasting your time. Da da yeah. da da da. So I mean, man's gotta do what he's gotta do, man. But it's always love from your end. Genuine love, like, Aww. and I enjoy every every bit of content we've made together yeah. every single thing every time going for shows you know getting disappointment like Aww, yeah. it was really good trust me 100 percent oh yeah okay well 
I want to talk about Desi December because obviously, I, like I was saying, I was back in Nigeria for two weeks. Like this was in December, December, January. Um, obviously, it was different. That was my first time like going properly to Nigeria. Like I'd, I I rec- obviously was. Rec- born- yeah, like I went, wow. yeah, like I had gone like 15 years ago, I believe. Okay. But I went with my mom and that was not Desi December. That was very much <laughs> clean. clean. <laughs> the cleanest December I've ever seen in my life. Sparkling. I was not allowed to leave the house past eight o'clock. I was like, mom, what is this? Oh, so no. this is my first proper Desi December and it was so different. Obviously, have you experienced maybe like UK well, they call us IJGB, right? Yeah. IJGB people go back to Nigeria while you were there. Yeah, I mean, I've got a couple of friends, uh, not even only UK. I mean, I've got a couple of friends from America and the rest, you know, they come to Nigeria and, you know, spend the December thing. We go out. It was fun. Yeah. So um, I'm not really, I don't feel oppressed or... Yeah, I feel like they, they kind of don't treat us well. This this term that they call us IJGB babes, I don't like that because we're just Nigerians. I feel like it divides us a little bit. Yeah, I think the problem is the way you speak when you get to Nigeria. I mean, your accent, the way you talk, they feel like, oh, this one is, I just go back. Okay. Some of them don't like you, right? Today? Yeah, some of the bro, I got some mad energy, you know. I remember I went to some beach party and the guy was just speaking to me. I thought he was a lovely guy. And he was like, Oh, where are you from? And I'm like, Oh, I'm from London. He was like, With that sense, that sense, where are you they from? Oh, I was like, uh-uh. Can you imagine? You, how can you tell me my accent? I'm forming my accent. Have you even been to London yourself? Like, how can you tell me my accent is not real? I don't understand. I mean, different different people with different It was just uh, mad opinion, or crud yeah. for no reason. I was just looking at me like, okay, all right, I'm sorry, I guess. But, but I'll be honest, like, totally, honestly, I don't understand the beef. I don't so get I it. Don't, I don't get it as well because I don't see any reason why you're angry with someone that just going to Nigeria yeah. because she's half Nigerian, half American. Half no, Nigerian, I'm not half, half Nigerian. Nigerian. I'm full Nigerian. <laughs> and you know what? Let's not even talk about the negative because I had an amazing time. Talk it was me. amazing. Like that was the first, I felt peace because obviously the UK, I think is very stressful. It's like, you don't get a lot of peace in the UK. And I felt like just being in Nigeria, it was, I felt at home. Like I'm with my people. Yeah. Like it was such a nice where feeling. Did you, where, did you, where did you go to? I stayed in, actually I went to Ghana first. So I did two dirty Decembers in one. Oh. <laughs> so I went to Ghana for like a week. I stayed out till Christmas. And then I moved, I went to Nigeria for two weeks. Oh yeah. I mean, places you went to in Nigeria. Was it yeah. Lagos? So I went to Lekki, Victoria Island. Um... It was great. It was oh, yeah. a, 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 the part Nigerians can't party. Oh my god! Yeah, that's why we see we outside. Has he? No, 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 no. I've been to a lot of countries, right? I've been to Canada. I've been to New York. I've been to China. I've been to Thailand. I've been to a lot of countries. I have yeah. never seen people party like that in my whole life. We are active. No, we I'm telling outside. you, like it's normal to be out till eight, nine, ten. One time I was partying. I got home at like two p.m. Yeah. The next day. Because we went to a party, and then we went to Quillox at like 10 o'clock in the morning. And then we were done because Quillox was, no, sorry, it was about 8 o'clock we went to Quillox. And then... In the morning? Yes. Okay. We were part... Quillox doesn't close though. I don't know why. Quillox is always <laughs> open. <laughs> always. Like every time you need to go somewhere, everyone's like, Quillox, 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 Quillox. Anyways, yeah. and then when we were done in Quillox, and then some... People were like, guys, let's go for food. So we went for this Chinese thing. It's like a popular Chinese thing in Lekki. Uh, oh, I'm not familiar. Oh, like, I don't know what it's far. called. But anyways, like a Chinese thing. And it was like early in the morning eating. <sighs> we got home so late. I was like, how can I do this all the time? There's always then, beach parties. Then a proper Nigeria guy, yeah. After all of that, when you, you know, catch a little rest, then you're up again up again yeah at one point i had to be like listen this is too much for me because it was too much like and like it's the partying was so bad like nigerians be throwing money in the club 
Yeah. As in cash. I thought it was I thought it was fake money. No, no, it was real cash. Real cash, in, man. In the club. Yeah, we're you see dramas, performances, strippers in the club. It's not even yeah, a strip man. club. It's a normal club. Yeah, man. And there's strippers on pole. Yeah. I have to give it. Nigerians now, are the real party. If you're talking about the money, do you know some girls go to the club for that money you're talking about? Like, they go to the club and pee. So that, <laughs> boom, they put in the back. I call it. There was a lot of money. Even me, I was sticky. Hey, hey, but I didn't want to embarrass temptation. myself. <laughs> so I thought, you know what? This is a big get. Oh, let me act lo- classy. So I wouldn't. I, I never touched any of the money. But I was just in my, and I'm thinking. And some people try to say like Nigeria. There's poverty in Nigeria. I was like poverty. Yeah, where? yeah. There's, there's poverty and there's bowling. Ah. Uh, Real ballers, yeah. Real ballers. No, that that was some crazy stuff. But I also experienced the men in Nigeria. I will say, okay. obviously, because I went to Ghana first. The Ghanaian men are, I, I would say, they love me more because Ghanaian men. I don't think they're financially there in terms of ballers, but Ghanaian men are very caring, and I, yeah, that's I, that's they're caring. They they only give you eggs. <laughs> Hi Esther. No, no, can no, you they can do. you can you come to the house? I've got two crates of eggs. No, All no. they gonna do is boil <laughs> eggs for you and eat. No, 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 no. No one actually gave me eggs. Actually, someone took me out to go eat fufu and egg. That was mind blowing. I just said it. It was man. like, why the flip are we eating food for an egg? Like it was so yeah, they weird. Eat egg, egg, and they put like that spicy thing shito. in the middle. I was like, shito. It's but it's green. I thought shito is red. Oh, I don't know. I think what it was that like is. pepper. But anyway, it was nice though. Know. It was nice. So um, tell me about Nigerian men. That's what But I'm obviously I Ghanaians love me more. I have to say that more because Ghanaian men are they they're acts of service. So they'll give you their time just to spend time with you. And I really appreciate that. Nigerian men, however, they are lovely, but I feel like they're just financial. Like Nigerian men will be like, don't worry, I got you, come out. But I don't think they like to spend quality time with you. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, but no, I mean, we're different though. So I can only speak for myself. Yeah. But trust me, Nigerian Nigerian men, they're very, very caring. Do you think so? I felt I felt the love more from Ghanaian man. There was a Ghanaian guy that when I was leaving for the airport, he packed my bags for me, bro. Oh, I prob- was like, ah. Yeah, probably you met you met the Nigerian guy that just won a ball. I yeah. mean, trust me, there are a couple of Nigerian guys that that they're very, very caring, you know. They do all of that. It's something I can do. Yeah. Yeah, it's something I can do. I'm a very caring man. It, is <laughs> it? How are you caring? Like, yeah. But I, I, I did experience, you know, when they say Nigerian men will show you pepper. I experienced a bit of pepper though <laughs> from Nigeria. Yeah, in, in, in what way? When you talk about <laughs> pepper, like so there was a guy, happened? there was a guy that invited me to a beach party. He was a lovely guy. It was so amazing, and this beach party was his family's beach party. So basically, he's a brother of like an artist in Nigeria. I I don't know if I can say the person. Say. But anyway, <laughs> No, <laughs> yeah, let me keep it sealed. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I don't think he, he doesn't like his identity to be out there. Like he he's quite a private guy, so I don't really want his name like okay, that. Okay. But obviously, he invited me to this beach party, and I'm telling you, this guy got me a private boat to get to the beach party beach party in Ilesha. And mountains. With my friends, he was like, "Don't worry, I got you." Pattern da da da. We got there. Bearing in mind, the night before, like the day before, we spent time together. It was good vibes. Like, yeah. it was like basically making it clear, like, I don't know, he's he wants to see what's going on with me type of vibes. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was like, he was moving to me kind of thing. Okay. And then obviously he was like, yeah, my family's having a party the next day. So we got there. Tell me why this guy welcomes me with another girl in his hands. <laughs> As in, I was like, oh, welcome. You're right. You're right. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I'm thinking, does he Men. know? Like, is this normal? Like, I was so confused. And there was no explanation, by the way. He didn't explain. Like, he didn't explain. Did he, like, introduce he didn't even, you? It, he just was like, oh, hi. He introduced us. It was like, I, Esther, me. 
this girl and she was very pretty and it was just very much like sister wives and it was very much like out he took care of me the whole night as well he would have her in his hat in his hands come over you're right Esther. Wait, you're wait. right you're right wait 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 wait. like, like he took care it, of both of us the whole it, night is he trying to keep you like a sub no i think he was trying to like maybe because he's muslim i think i think he's one of those that okay, he's trying to okay. make it clear like you listen okay. you're gonna have to get okay, along so you're number one <laughs> she's number two you know what I mean? get, go, understand so are you ready to join the list god forbid <laughs> i'm so sorry i don't share my man i'm so sorry oh. he was cute though he knows himself he's a cute guy tell but me, it, that's not from <laughs> tell me his name <laughs> please say I don't. I, got, so I don't want his brother's name getting into the mix because I know how Nigerians. Hey. Don't worry, no Nigerian is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's one thing. Because I think he has warned me that he doesn't want me to say certain things because he oh, doesn't yeah. want his family right, name let's out keep there. The, let's keep the privacy that way. Then yeah, let's keep it that exactly. Way. But it did make me suffer, which was not good. But did you get another guy? There was lots of guys. That moved to you? Yeah, there was lots. So did you get anyone you like? I feel like maybe because we had, he's the one I had the most connection with because oh, we yeah. actually spent time together. Oh, so there was no other guy you used? No one that really wowed me. Like everyone else was just very much, yeah. Like it was, yeah, they'll invite me to something. I'll go. And it was nice. Oh, and yeah. do you know what I really liked though? It was just the fact that I didn't pay for anything. <laughs> Then you're lucky then. In this UK. You pay for everything. Do you want a conversation we're still having? Who should pay on the first date? You should pay 50-50 on the first date. That's the conversation we're still having in the UK. In Nigeria, I didn't pay for anything. I, I If I didn't take my purse out, I was good. Drinks yeah. was covered. Like food, everything was covered. That's why you're in And the these are not even men that also, even if they're not moving to me, as long as they invite me out, I'm good. Yeah. I really thought we UK women are suffering. You got two Nigerian guys, man. Nah, nah, I've got to give it to you guys. I mean, you could hurt our feelings and make us suffer, see, show us pepe, <laughs> but at least you handle business. But I, I want to ask, did you did you get to ask the guy what the girl was or probably, you know, talk about it? Did you? <laughs> we did have a, like, um, like a pillow talk where we spoke about it and he just didn't understand that it was a wrong thing. Like he was just like, so what? <laughs> I was just like, you do get that. You don't really do like, it's disrespectful. Right. And he just, he never got it. And he was just very much like, I wasn't trying to disrespect you. I was like, well, you did. And he apologized in the end. I oh. did. But I think that's just what he's used to. Cause he's the type that he will take care of a woman. He definitely oh, yeah. will take. And I think he's just used to women being okay with it. I mean, I would, you know, I would say you give him a second chance, but you don't. He want doesn't to be... want it. He's one of those that's like, just emotionally unavailable, and I don't have time. I need a guy that's obsessed with me. Oh, Hester! All he'll do is take Hester, care of me. Where are you? Yeah, I know Hester. a man that wants to know where I am twenty four seven. You can ask me how my day is. Like yeah, I, talk I am... about it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. so I'm like, you know what? Yeah, but you know what I want to talk about though, the Grammys. I saw on your story, you posted, Davido is my winner. Let's talk about that. <laughs> because, obviously, there's a controversy, if anyone don't know, um, that Tyler won the best perform best Afrobeats performance. Yeah, congrats. Congrats to her. Big up to her in the Grammys. Amazing. Um, but, obviously, there's been a lot of opinions on that. I think you've decided what opinion you have posting no, Davido. No, for real, like... There's, there's no big deal, you know. Yo, this, this thing is just is an award, so I don't, I don't understand why people go all crazy about not getting an award, you know. Yeah, it's Grammys, just. But why did you post the video in your story saying that's my winner? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the video. I was, I was but amidst I, the controversy. No, the, like I, I wanted the video to win, but he didn't win. So why are you putting my winner? Yeah, because he's my winner. He's, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of David. I love. Yeah. I love David. And I mean, I really wanted to win. So I don't know how I was feeling that period. So that's why I just posted. I mean, it wasn't just me. It was 
a lot, lot of people posted yeah. the video. I think like, a lot of people were expecting him to win. Yeah. Because unavailable what? did numbers and it was it was due a Grammy bless and, his soul. I say this like this is the first nomination is getting. Yeah. So let's wait for the You got three nominations, didn't you? I he? mean the first time in Grammy. This is the first time he's getting nominated in, in Grammy, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but so, you got three nominations and he, the fact that you didn't win it, that's yeah, quite it mad. Happened. So let's wait but for But do next. you think it was fair that Tyler won? Yeah, for Tyler. I don't want South African school. <laughs> <laughs> Make me scream. Say your opinion. Make me filter. water. <laughs> oh, I beg. I mean, it would have been good if we had at least Davido or Bonoboy win just one of these awards. But I mean, congrats to Tyler. Yeah. I can't really say much about that. Yeah. Um, like, do you know my opinion? I think it's a win for Africa and I'm I'm really proud of her. She's a woman. Like, it, it's an amazing achievement and she's only 22. I think the only thing I think is, I don't think it was like, expected. Um, and it's because that was like her first ever track that really blew up. Yeah. And obviously it did numbers, so she got, which is she got amazing. just one nomination, is it? Just one I think it was one oh, nomination yeah, and she, well, and she won it. So I, I think it was the fact that no one was expecting it because, yeah, it was an amazing song. Don't get me wrong. Water is an amazing yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think maybe because other African artists have got footwork in the game and she's kind of a new artist and then straight to a Grammy yeah. on a one song. And, and it's like, it. you know, the Rema song. Rema song has done even more numbers than that song. So what's so Definitely. special about uh, Water? The, the, uh, Calm down. Calm down yeah. yeah, I think the one with Selena is on like 700 and something million views and yeah. that didn't win a Grammy. Me. so it's like if it's about numbers why didn't that win a grammy but this is winning grammy so it's like what on what basis did they give the grammy to her but i'm really happy it's still a win for africa, for africa i mean yeah congrats yeah. to tyler yeah of I'm course big win for her. and obviously davido um Benner boy sorry hey davido fc and Benner boy they're gonna kill me i think <laughs> okay let's, <laughs> let's talk about um Benner boy did the first afrobeats performance yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I wasn't able to watch the performance. Because oh, you didn't? Imme- immediately, the video <laughs> wasn't announced. Oh, uh, you just yeah, turned it. Just, just so you're a real Davido. Is it Davido FC? That's what you call it, isn't it? No, it's 30BG. 30BG. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, it's Whiskey FC. Hey, yeah, Whiskey FC. These people are going to kill me. Or... Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't get me wrong. 30GB. I'm a 30 BG. 30 BG. Yeah, 30 billion gang. Okay. I'm a big fan of David. I'm a big fan of Whiskey. Whiskey I'm a yeah. big fan of Bonner Boy. Okay. Do you understand? Funny enough, I listen more. But the fact that you didn't Whiskey. watch like Burner Boys, then you're not really a fan of no, Burner Boys. No, no, Boy. I was just, I was just pained, you know, it's oh. sad. You know, I really want David to win. The, like, oh. yo, even if it was just one, you know. That's cute. But I just got over. Uh, the energy was not there to watch the Grammy. I was just... So it was the next day I saw the video of uh, Bonner Boy performing. I was like, okay, that's good. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, Africa, Afrobeat is still global. Well, the performance was great. I think, obviously, he performed with 21 Savage and Brandy. They did, I think, Top of the World. That, <laughs> so, I don't know. That seemed a bit forced. I'm not going to lie. Like, so it, what, what, what do you want to rate the performance? I feel like because I've watched Better Boy perform before and, yeah, and it's the been way better. Yeah. I felt like it was a mismatch because Brandy is an amazing performer. By herself. Better Boy is an amazing performer by himself. 21 Savage is amazing by himself. But I think together, I don't think that they worked because Brandy, she she looks like a solo artist, didn't that? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, ah! And obviously, Better Boy is doing like, this. She was doing her thing. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, Bonobo's it didn't thing. come together. I don't know. It was a given for me. Oh, yeah. But I get what they were trying to do. I think it's that merge of Africans Chin. and African American, the fusion, which I love. But I don't I don't know about the performance. It just wasn't given for me. Yeah, trust me. Next year, hopefully, by God's grace, inshallah. Um, I pray the video wins a, uh, a Grammy. Yeah. It's gonna bring a Grammy up. Oh, you're gonna make sure. You be the you, yeah. would you vote? Oh well, are we allowed to vote? I don't think so. Oh, well, we'll pray. Yeah, we'll just keep praying. Keep praying for our... In God we trust. <laughs> In God we trust. And do you know what I want to ask as well? I want to know your top three Nigerian comedians. Oh, top three. 
So when you're talking about comedians, are you talking about uh, uh -huh. because we have stand up comedy, we have content skit makers. Skit, let's do skits comedians. That's your lane. So yeah, my top three keep changing almost all the time because you know. So right got, now, yeah. So we've got some new guys, and I'll say um, top three. Just too funny. Oh, uh, I'll give you a void accolades. Um, there's this guy. I uh, don't know if you know him. His, his name is Lai Wasabi. Lai content, Wasabi. Yeah, he's a content creator, okay. Nigerian content creator. He's good. He's funny. Yeah. I only watch videos that make me laugh. Okay. I don't watch video because the video is long and different effects now. Yeah. And um, the last one? Is it based in Nigeria or? In Nobody. Nigeria. In Nigeria. I'll give Brother Shaggy as well. Brother Shaggy? Trust me, Brother Shaggy is, is hard working. Yeah? Yeah, to be Brother fair, he does. Brother Shaggy is a worker. But I'm surprised Faust didn't make it to your top three. Yeah, Faust is... Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Faust as well, but, you know, Faust is not just... Uh, Faust is not a comedian. Oh. Faust is a funny person, but he's a, he's a, he's a good artist. Uh, I don't but know he's, he's also a, a comedian. Yeah, he makes people laugh, but... You don't think he's a comedian? He's a comedian, but <laughs> he's not like a regular skit maker. Okay, so he's not a skits of, comedian. I yeah. get you. I get you. Do you understand? He's a very funny person. Yeah. But it, he's done skits though. Yeah, a couple of videos, yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Very big, big fan. But clearly not a fan enough for it to make it to your top three. No, you, you said top three. You didn't yeah, say top exactly. Five. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me top five, it's going to be there. Right, okay. Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Right, before we finish, I want to do a game because I like to do games. Um, it's a quick one. I want to test your British accents. Oh, I don't have a... Yeah, hey, so wait. we're going to test it. Oh, right? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, so Jesus, 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 I want to do three accents, right? Um, so we need to do the Birmingham, Scouts, and Manchester. Scouts. Can I have a can of cuke? <laughs> I struggle with the Birmingham one. Okay. So I'm going to do the good one. I'm going to do the Scouts one first. Because I think I'm, all, I'm okay with the Scouts. Right. So you have to say, um, can you tell me where I can get a chicken and a can of Coke? <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for that. Is it Scouts? Right. It's scouts. So I'm going to go first. Can you tell me where I can get a chicken and a can of Coke? Go on. Oh, Scouts. Can you tell me when I can... <laughs> can you tell me where can... Oh, let me, let me, let me, can you say that again? Can you tell me where can I, where I, <laughs> can, you, can you tell me? Can you tell me where I can get a chicken and a can of coke? Can you tell me where I can get a chicken and a can of cook? <laughs> because there's, there was a, can you tell me where can I get a chicken and a can of cook? <laughs> Scouts is, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, you go, Right, okay, let's go move on to the man. I'll give you a yeah, two for that. I can try, I can try. Yeah, two, That's thank you. That's a two. But let's do Manchester. I can try Right, this. so we have to say, who takes a jacket on a night out? Right, let me go. Right. <laughs> who takes a jacket on a night out? Who takes the jacket on the night out? <laughs> Wait, you live in the north, don't you? So why are you this bad? Well, I live in Nigerians. No, you live in the UK now. You live in the north. Yeah, but I don't like. I don't wake up every morning. I just start speaking <laughs> to everyone. I mean, I still live with Nigerians. <laughs> right, go on, do it again. You. Who takes a jacket on a night out? Who takes a jacket? Jacket. Who takes a jacket on a night out? Oh. <laughs> right, I will give you zero point five. No, 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 no. The first... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's cheating, man. The first one I did like was. Pretty good. Actually, no, I was too gracious on the first one. The first one is zero. This is now 0 0.5. Have... Who takes the jacket? Jacket. <laughs> to be fair, the Birmingham one, I'm really bad at Birmingham accent. So I'm really bad with the British You're accent. bad at everything. It's so far. No, 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 not everything. Excuse <laughs> me. Real. Right, the last one. Right. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not from Birmingham. I'm from Dudley. Right, let me go. I don't care what any... Oh, I can't do I this I don't one. care what anyone say. <laughs> I'm from Birmingham. I'm not from Dudley. <laughs> I got that. Yeah. No. Yeah, it is. No. Birmingham. I don't, I don't care what any... I don't care what anyone says. I'm not from Birmingham. Oh, I'm from Dudley. I don't care what, I'm from what Dudley. anyone say. I'm from Birmingham. I'm from, I'm from Dudley. Dudley. <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> Dudley. <laughs> 
So mine was really bad as well, to be fair. Yeah, so we we're bad together. We were bad together. Two so bad boys. Also yeah, I'll bad. rate both of us two for that last one. That was yeah. really bad. Thank you. Right. Anyways, at least now you guys know how bad <laughs> Pele Krebs accents are. Yeah, I'm Nigerian, so I have Nigerian accent. <laughs> if I play the game with you to speak some things in like... Some pigeon. I can speak pigeon. Wait, what did they talk now? Uh, you don't know who I do. You don't know where, who where I do. From? Where are you from? Where am I from? I'm yeah. from I'm from Abelkuta. You're, you're Yoruba. I'm Yoruba. I'm from Ogun State. Speak Yoruba. Um, Kilovekin, so. Eh. I'm on Najani, me, Najalo, B, me, see. Eh? Are you, are you mad? Okay, say, 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 um, I don't like my, eh, uh, I think I need to go retouch in Yoruba. Me like you, Romy. Money like to retouch, eh? Whoa. I'll give you, I'll give you, a t- I'll give you, I'll give you seven, I'll give you eight. I'm really good. Yeah, I'm a Nigerian girl for real. But guys, we have to bring this to the end. This is fun. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, man. <laughs> you dropped some tea in there, didn't you? <laughs> Did, I? Did you? Did you? I like. I, I loved interviewing you. You oh. don't hold back. I love it. <laughs> oh man, I can't remember what I said, bro. If I said anything wrong. Uh, guys, uh, please pardon me. I'm sorry <laughs> if I called your name. I didn't. I can't remember calling anyone's name. You don't remember one name. You didn't yeah, call just remember, one name. Yeah, or, but that's quite risky. You called you know? like ten names today already. <laughs> I'm joking. That's risky. Not ten. <laughs> That's risky. Very, very risky. Very, man. very risky. <laughs> very, very bob risky. Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. <laughs> right, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Guys, I want to know how you felt about this show. I want comment down below. Like, I want to know how you felt about it. How did you feel about Bello Crab? Do you have any questions for him? And guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please come back next episode. I'm gonna have a treat for you. Bye, guys. <laughs>